Good morning. As a young girl, I remember going to a circus. Now, I remember, of course, the lions and the elephants, and I thought they were really neat. But I think the main thing that I remember are the trapeze artists. I still, to this day, think it is so amazing how they swing from one place to another with seeming ease and amazing confidence. I remember wondering when I was young how they could ever be brave enough to go that high. I kept thinking, but what if they fell? A few moments later, after I had w watched them, one of the acrobats did a flip off the trapeze and was falling to the ground. Well, at least I thought they were falling. I was so nervous. I remember gasping a little bit, and then I noticed something I hadn't noticed before. Um, I had been looking uh, up at the trapeze, and so I hadn't noticed that stretched tightly underneath of them was a net. The acrobat landed with these in that net and jumped down to the ground to do a bow. I realized then why they were not afraid, why they were so confident on the trapeze, because they knew that even if they did fall, that net was underneath to catch them. Of course they had confidence. They knew they were safe with that net there. Now, I came across a verse in my devotions the other morning, and I've read it many times before. I'm sure you know it. And I even already had it underlined from a previous reading, but this time it spoke to me a little differently than before. Isn't God's word amazing? You know, you read it certain times, and it just speaks to you exactly what you need at the moment. Um, here's the verse that I read. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33, 27. A refuge is a place that shelters and protects from danger, distress, or calamity, a place inaccessible to an enemy. God shelters and protects us. Satan cannot get to us to harm us when we are inside God's refuge for us. However, if you think about it, a refuge is only good if you're inside of it, right? In the Bible, it tells us about some cities of refuge that God appointed for people to run to if they accidentally hurt someone. And as long as they stayed inside that city of refuge, no one could hurt them to avenge the blood of whoever it was that they hurt. I'm going to read you a couple verses about that. But if the slayer shall at any time come without the border of the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, and the revenger of blood find him without the border of the city of his refuge, and the revenger of blood kill the slayer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in the city of his refuge." until the death of the high priest. That's in Numbers 35, verses 26 through 28. So God provided a safe place, a city of refuge for his people, but they also had the freedom to leave if they wanted to. They didn't have to stay inside. God gives us the freedom of choice. He does not force us to follow him or love him or do what he says. Now he wants us to, but he's not going to force us to live within the shelf of his refuge. He wants to protect us from the storms of life, from the difficult times. He doesn't take these things away. He doesn't take away storms and hard times. Um, and we do have to go through them, but he gives us a refuge to run to, the refuge of, of his arms. Now, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46.1. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble, Psalm 9.9. Notice that there are times of trouble in these verses. They will come. And when they do, we should be sheltered within the refuge that God provides. But what if we get caught outside? What if we weren't prepared for that storm? What if trouble catches us unexpectedly? Ah, uh, well... That is when the safety net comes into play. Remember the net underneath the acrobats in case they fell off the trapeze? Well, let's reread that verse from Deuteronomy I read at the beginning. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33, 27. Notice that last phrase. Underneath are the everlasting arms. That's our safety net. God is our refuge in times of trouble. But what if we mess that? and end up outside of that refuge. Well, underneath are the everlasting arms. Everlasting means forever. God's arms never get tired. They never will fail to catch you if you fall. Psalm 37, 17. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. 
Isn't it amazing to know that you have a God that won't let you fall? He will hold you up in his everlasting arms. Those acrobats in the circus weren't worried about what would happen if they made a mistake because they knew that underneath that trapeze, they had a safety net to catch them. We don't need to worry about what will happen to us if we get caught unprepared by the storms of life because the eternal God is our refuge and underneath are his everlasting arms.